Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan in the court of Judge Middleton as he ends up taking on a sovereign citizen for traffic violations. And, well, the sovereign citizen doesn't stand much of a chance against uh, Judge Middleton. And, uh, well, this particular sovereign citizen is not exactly as feisty as a lot of others, but still... He uh, back talks him a little bit, and uh, well, Judge Middleton doesn't have any of it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, Jacques Lavise Scott, would you come right up to the podium, please? Give me the top copy of your advice of rights. Right, the thing in your hand. Bring that right up to me. Good morning, sir. This is file number 2314350T. It's a white pigeon ordinance case. Your name is Jacques Scott? Yes. You got a ticket in white pigeon on uh, July 29th for no valid operator's license and no registration plate. You know, maybe I should get a set of Sovereign Citizen bingo cards. That way I could play along with all this while they're talking. But uh, so far, if it, I did have one, I would already might be marking down uh, no plates and no license. So there you go. Uh, almost at bingo already. I got an email from the White Pigeon Village attorney, Mr. Seth Coaches. He emails the court every Monday afternoon regarding the Tuesday morning White Pigeon cases. And it's very helpful. So let's talk about this. Uh, the charge, no valid operator's license, is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100 carries two points on your driver's license and goes on your driving record. You're also charged with having an improper registration plate, which is a civil infraction that carries a $120 fine. Mr. Coaches emailed me yesterday and he's willing to dismiss both of these charges for a plea to a lesser charge while allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Um, that one is a kind of a strange charge. It carries no points. It doesn't go on your driving record. And it won't affect your ability to continue to work on getting your driver's license. However, it is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100. The normal fine is $100 plus costs. The other charges would be dismissed. It sounds like a pretty good deal to me, but, you know, most sovereign citizens would rather take uh, the more stern charge and go pro se rather than uh, take the deal. But let's see what happens with this sovtard. Will he take the deal or will he become even dumber? So let's carry on and watch it. The public defender, Mr. Keith Stickley, has joined us. He's available for any consultation for anyone if needed. But Mr. Uh, Coaches, the White Pigeon Village attorney, has agreed to save you $120 by dismissing the other ticket and two points and putting this on your driving record if you plead to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Are you willing to plead to that lesser charge? Can you... A better definition of sure. This, this it is a little confusing. The charge you're charged with is not having a valid operator's license. That's a misdemeanor. It carries two points and it goes on your driving record. Let's take a look at your driving record. Well, I'm practicing in the constitutional right to travel. 
I had to turn that up so everybody could hear it. But he's uh, saying to his lawyer that he has a constitutional right to travel. Well, of course he has a constitutional right to travel. It's just that the method of travel is often the one that's uh, licensed, taxed, and everything like that. I mean, yeah, you can go from state to state with no problem. But, Softard, you need to learn these laws, because otherwise, they'll just get you into more trouble along the lines. So, straighten up and fly right, my man. Your license is expired. Um, and, uh, you don't have a valid license. And I heard you whisper to Mr. Um, uh, Stickley, you have a constitutional right to travel. That's true. You don't have a constitutional right to drive a car with no driver's license. So people come in with this half cocked, cockamamie, jabberwocky idea that uh, they're their own country and um, they don't need a driver's license or a proper plate to drive. Well, in this state, you do. So the prosecutor has agreed to dismiss these. It won't go on your driving record, won't carry any points, and he's dismissing the plate violation. So it will save you about $250 maybe, $200 anyway, and no points. Um, so it's up to you. If you wish to plead guilty to the lesser charge, you can do that. Or if you wish to plead not guilty, I'll simply set the matter for a trial. What would you like to do, sir? Seeing my circumstances of what I'm dealing with, um, what's the second option you stated? The Please to allowing one. another to violate the motor vehicle code. It's a legal fiction. It, it's you, the other you're allowing to violate the motor vehicle code is yourself. But the lawyers use it because it doesn't carry any points. No problem. It doesn't go on your driving record and won't no affect problem. your ability to get your license back if you wish to do that. No problem. Um, so that's option two. The other option is to plead not guilty, and I'll set the matter for a trial. I'll take the second option. The um, the one you state that's confusing. Okay, plead to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh wow, he's not much of a sovereign citizen. He actually took the deal, which makes him a fairly smart sovereign citizen. Well, maybe there's hope for this guy yet. So let's carry on and see what else uh, the the judge has to say. <coughs> Where were you going that day? I was traveling to my bank. Okay. Which is and is your driver's way. license expired? I don't have a license. All right. That's good enough. Now, you had a driver bring you today? Yes. Very good. Well, this will save you 120 bucks off of that. What do you do, sir? What's your occupation? Security. Very good. You still live in White Pigeon? Yes. White Pigeon's a little town. If they see you driving, they'll pull you over again. Just a word of caution. So the fine's $100. There's no points. It won't show up on your driving record. The state costs are 125, so it's 225 dollars. But this won't appear on your record. Do you need some time to pay that? Yes. How much time do you need? It could be Friday. Oh, I'll give you more time than that. Uh, can you pay it by October 5th? Certainly. Okay, that's 225. 10, 5, 23. We'll give you the rest of August and most of September. All right, sir, you're good to go. 
Wow, this was a great example of if you don't act like a sovtard moron and spew a bunch of legal nonsense that has no merit, you'll get treated just right. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna get the uh, third degree by the judge, and Judge Middleton never really messes around. So Judge Middleton ended up taking a great deal of uh, mercy on this guy. Maybe he'll learn his lesson. Maybe he won't. One day, we'll find out. Hopefully. I hope this guy does turn it around and realize that this sovereign citizen stuff is nothing but a bunch of Bora Grove nonsense. But hey, We'll never know. At the, uh, we, we may never know. Anyway, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.